everyone and welcome to a new cosplay story time. It has been a while since I've made one of these um, because I just haven't had a lot of cosplay stories to tell. Um, they've just kind of dried up and I haven't like had anything really notable happen that I felt warranted like a full video until I realized that I could do a compilation video, which is what today's video is gonna be. So I'm gonna be doing a series of stories from my time at ECCC this year. ECCC, by the way, stands for Emerald City Comic Con. It's a comic convention that happens in Seattle, Washington every year, just for background. If you didn't see, I do have a vlog from that convention that you can check out for like a nice kind of full overview of like what the weekend was like. But there are some things that were not documented in that vlog that I wanted to share with you guys because they're things that I think will probably make you guys smile, maybe make you guys laugh, and so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, a little while ago I made a video about my misrecognized cosplays. So these were stories where I was cosplaying one character and people thought that I was something else. And I, in that video, said like, man, this hasn't happened to me for years. Like, I wonder, like, why that is? And then literally right after I made that video, I went to ECCC and I got misrecognized, so... The universe was just like, it's gonna happen. So during that weekend, I was cosplaying Kitty from Danny Phantom and Emmy from Professor Layton. And um, I cosplayed Kitty on the Saturday, no, not Saturday, Friday. Kitty on the Friday and Emmy on the Sunday. And I knew that these cosplays were not gonna get super recognized, but I kinda just wanted to see, I wanted to do an experiment because I didn't have like any super hardcore hyperfixations at the time. Because usually my, my cause plans will be like whatever I'm hyperfixating on at the moment. And I wasn't really hyperfixating on anything like super new necessarily, but I will always love Danny Phantom and I will always love Professor Layton and they'll always be like universal constants in my life. So I was like, all right, let's bring out like the sentimental cosplays and see we'll do a little experiment and see how many people actually end up recognizing them the answer was not many and I did happen to get misrecognized so first when I was cosplaying Kitty um, I was with my friend Nicole who was Danny and um, everybody was like oh my gosh Danny Phantom oh my gosh and then I would be with them and they'd be like who are you supposed to be and I'd be like don't worry about it. So there was this guy who walked past us and he was really excited, he was like, Danny Phantom. And then he looks at me and he's like, oh, is that Ember? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know, the body paint and the bright colors, I guess, kind of would make you think that it was Ember, maybe, but their designs are completely different. Um, so he was like, is that is that who it is? And we're like, no. No, it's not, but good try. <laughs> but then, then I had a couple of instances where people did recognize that cosplay and it made me so happy because uh, I wasn't having a great day that day. We ended up leaving the convention early. I was hanging out in the dealer's hall with Nicole and this person comes up and asks us for a photo and I'm thinking, hmm, like they probably are asking us for a photo but they don't know who I am. They're just like including me in the photo to be polite. So they like take our photo and then they stop and they look at me and they're like, does Johnny know about this? And I was like, that's the dream, right? It's not only to be recognized, but to like have somebody like make a reference to your character like that. That is the best interaction that I could have hoped for. So that was fantastic. And I like was so caught off guard. I was so happy and caught off guard that I didn't know what to say. And so Nicole stepped in and was like, he doesn't have to know. And I was like, Ayo, someone, someone's thinking on their feet because it certainly wasn't me. Um, so that was really great. And then I had somebody um, when I was actually leaving for the day um, stopped me and was like, oh my gosh, are you from Danny Phantom? And I was like, yes, thank you so much. You made my day that you recognized me. And they're like, I got you. And I was like, bless. Um, so that was my day as Kitty. And then we have the, my day as Emmy. So Emmy from Professor Layton, um, obviously Professor Layton, um, I think if you're cosplaying like Luke or the Professor, people are gonna know who you're cosplaying. But if you're cosplaying like literally anybody else from the series, good luck. Um, so I was cosplaying Emmy and man, did nobody recognize me. And it's interesting because when I, hmm, do I wanna like dive into this? But it's an interesting experience when people don't recognize your cosplay, it's like they kind of value you less. Like it's, it, it was interesting to see how people treated me when my cosplay wasn't recognizable. 
Um, maybe that's just my experience. Hopefully that's just my experience because that's like a really crappy feeling to have. Um, but I was with people who are cosplaying Shrek and everybody recognized their cosplays. Um, so they're like getting photos and stuff and people are like talking to them and you know, all of that. And um, in comparison, like how the way that people interacted with me was like, I didn't matter as much, which was kind of sad because they're like, oh, what are you supposed to be like? Um, kind of thing. So it's it's interesting, right? Like photographers don't want to shoot with you. People don't really like acknowledge you like when they don't know who you're cosplaying, which is interesting. Not great, but it's interesting. I, again, I hope that's just me. But yeah, so I was having kind of a sad day because like nobody's recognizing my cosplay and I was like not being treated the best by like other attendees. And I did get mistaken for a different character, which actually I've been mistaken for on the internet for this character beforehand, but not in real life. And so it, that kind of threw me for a loop. Like when it happened, I was like, oh, and I was like, oh yes, this has happened before, just not in person. So it kind of like threw me for a loop at first. And then I was like, ah, okay, there's a pattern here. So uh, I was in the vendors hall um, with someone and we're at this booth and this lady comes up to me and she's like it's giving Jane from Tarzan <laughs> is that what you're supposed to be and I was like no <laughs> not at all for context I don't like the like I haven't seen other versions of Tarzan but I've seen the Disney version I don't like Jane <laughs> so when you're being mistaken for a character that you don't like it's like ugh not the best right um but the lady was very well-meaning and you know obviously didn't mean any harm and she was very nice and she was she was trying to interact with me which was very nice right um because i'm like like i said not a lot of people made an effort to like interact with me because they didn't know what i was cosplaying so the fact that she actually like made an effort is much appreciated so like no fault on her but it was just like very unfortunate that like i'm having like this kind of a day and then i get mistaken for a character that i don't like right like it's not great i had some other instances where people thought that i was jane from tarzan and i was like oh all around me are familiar faces like it was not <laughs> what i wanted but then i I had a couple of people come up to me and be like, oh, are you Emmy? Like literally two people um, came up to me and were like, oh my gosh, are you Emmy? And one person was telling me about how like their dad introduced them to Professor Layton and the games mean a lot to them. So it's very exciting to see my cosplay. And that was like, so nice. Uh, I had another person be like, oh my gosh, it's so exciting to see like a Professor Layton cosplayer. And I was like, oh so exciting to be recognized as a Professor Layton cosplayer. So that was really nice. Then there was also a third person who recognized my Emmy cosplay. And this was the last person I expected to recognize my Emmy cosplay. And that was a security guard. So when you go into ECCC, man, saying that a whole bunch of times, E C C C C C C C C. It sure is a tongue twister. Um, anyway, when you go into the building, there's a security checkpoint that you have to go through um, where they have like a scanner, but it's not like a metal scanner. It's like some other kind of a scanner, but it was very hit or miss. Like, like I'd be walking into the convention with like the exact same stuff in my bag every day. And sometimes it would go off, sometimes it wouldn't. So it was like, I'm not sure what was going on there. But anyway, so um, for Emmy, I have a prop camera. It's an old camera that no longer works. So I go in through the detector, whatever it's detecting, and I figure that it's gonna go off and it does indeed go off. So I go to the side and I'm like taking my camera off and I'm unpacking my bag and stuff, right? And the security guard kind of looks me up and down and is like, oh, Professor Layton. And I was like, excuse me? Hello? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, that's awesome. Are you excited for the new game? And I'm like, yeah. Like last person I expected to recognize who I was cosplaying. So I have my prop camera and he's like, oh, that's probably fine. Like you can walk back through. And I'm like, no, I should probably take like my real camera out. And so this other security guard overhears and is like, what? Like, no, you already like took your camera off. Like, it's fine. I'm like, no, no, no. I have another camera. I have a real camera that I have to like take out. And he's like, you brought two cameras? You brought one camera in case you needed another camera? And the first security guard who recognized me stops him and was like, no, 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 no. This character you see is a reporter. And so she has a camera. So that camera is a prop camera and then she has her real camera. The other security guard was like, oh, okay. So the security guard was like totally on it, knew what he was talking about, was ready to defend me and back me up. And that's just, that was a great feeling. So that made me super happy. My 
experiment to see how many Professor Layton fans there would be at ECCCCCCCCC um, at the convention. <laughs> I, it turns out there are three. There are three Professor Layton fans at ECCC and um, they were all really awesome, but there were just, there were so few of them, which is just so sad. Again, I feel like if I had cosplayed like the professor or Luke or like, probably not Flora, um, but I feel like the main two characters, if you cosplay them, people would like probably get it. But I don't think, uh, for some reason, Emmy is just completely like off the radar, like doesn't compute. But I feel like if I had been like Leighton or Luke, it would have been like much more recognizable, but I don't know, that's my hypothesis. When it came to like Danny Phantom fans, there were a lot of Danny Phantom fans, but not many like hardcore Danny Phantom fans. So if you're like, you know, a surface level of Danny Phantom fan, you're gonna know who Danny is. But if you're like a hardcore, like actually watched all the episodes, knows all the ghosts, right? That's when you're gonna get the kitty cosplay. So anyway, it was an interesting experiment. Next year, I really wanna do a group where a bunch of friends and I cosplay like all the ghosts from Danny Phantom. Cause I think that'd be really fun. And then it would be really interesting to see how many people like recognize that. Um, but we, we will see anyway. That's a long time away, so we're just, we're not gonna worry about that yet. I hope you enjoyed my little cosplay story time today. Thank you so much for hanging with me today. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, pet faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.